And it's, it's so sad that we live in a society that values profit over the life of the lives of children and and the value of of a dream deferred a young person who may have had the most amazing potential um, cut short because they've been given the wrong information about their health or that they were um, they bled out during childbirth because no one paid attention to what was happening in the whole body. Because our education tells us, well, no, we have to do it like this. This is the procedure and this is the protocol without even questioning it, without even questioning that this has not resulted in satisfactory outcomes. Even if it is the protocol, it doesn't mean that we have to keep it. If you're in a bad marriage, get out of it. Why get married to the wrong idea and then dig your heels in because that's all you know. We don't know what we don't know. And that's, that's the beauty of it. You know, we don't know what we don't know. And the only thing that you can do is keep an open mind, which is not something that you get to do in a society that conditions you to think unilaterally, to think in one direction, to think with the arrogance that everything that I know is right and anything else that anyone has to offer is invalid. And that is the nature of the Western influence around the world over so many centuries. And it's just the domination by force and by violence because basically at the end of the day, you have something that I want. Give it to me or I will annihilate. <laughs> I don't That's know how people I don't know how people manage to even call that a civilization. Because I, I think even the animal have beginning to come out of that. You know, you know, I was saying a couple of days ago, I was interviewing somebody, I said, even look at the res the relationship that exists between the lion and the antelope. Yes. Everybody knows that the lion can kill and eat the antelope any day. But the lion don't just go and start killing the antelope just like that. The lion only kills the antelope when they want to eat. If you don't like, if you are not hungry, you want to eat, leave it alone. That is part of nature. Can we manage to keep a little balance so that every... Because can we even understand that we are all part of the game? Because if we understand that now, it means my point of view is right from my point of view, but are there other point of view to the same issue? Well, this is, yeah, this is, this is a great conversation. This is what we come to learn as ways of being and ways of doing. And I, I can say categorically that, um, When the level of arrogance, and I think that that always comes into play whenever our egos are elevated. When um, one believes that, that they have more to offer than someone else, or they have more power, or they're stronger, or they're bigger, or they're, that it sets them apart. It makes them uh, unique and special. Not realizing that every human being has a quality 
that can and must be utilized in the survival of the species. So in a pride of, of lions, there is the hierarchy based on the alpha male or the alpha female, not because he's a terror or he bullies the others or he growls and he snares at everybody, he, he bullies them. They rely on him as the alpha to make the decisions that will protect the pride. 